Welcome back, my loyal subjects to more Fire Emblem Three Houses, Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we officially met Cyril, and fighting tournaments begin this month. What? How do we... Hmm. I would very much like to participate in one of those. Right now, though, we need to uh, get, yep, certifications going. And uh, I actually, okay, I should have done this between the previous episode and this one, but... Let's uh, take a look and see which classes we want them to end up in. Uh, yeah. Okay, and it shows which ones she's mastered, which is noble. Hmm. Uh, she's currently a fighter. She can be a monk. We actually want her to be a myrmidon, though. Let's, uh, first of all, let's quickly head to the marketplace. It looks like it's only giving us the option to explore? Interesting. Let's get another beginner seal for her. And then a beginner seal for him. One beginner seal for this guy. Linhart's still not good to go. I don't think we're even changing his class, but we're just buying beginner seals like crazy right now. Dorothea, who's actually still good. I think she's also still good. We need that iron sword repaired, though. Hopefully, we're about to unlock the blacksmith. Alright. Certifications. Hubert's. Okay, we need a deer hire in swords to get him to Myrmidon. Hmm, he can become a soldier? Interesting. Uh, I do believe we're going to be making him a monk, though. Or, you know what? Sure. Let's switch things up and make Hubert a soldier. Hopefully... <laughs> okay. So, I know we're playing on Hard Classic. But I kind of hope I'm not... Well, everything should turn out fine. See? I've passed, have I? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Let's change into that newly certified class. And then Ferdinand. Do we want to make him? We can make him a soldier as well. We are most... We are good on fighters. Hmm. We want Myrmidon or soldier. Let's make him a Myrmidon. Go ahead and switch out of the, uh... Switch out of the Lance classes for a little bit for him. A true noble never fails. Yeah. Then we've got Bernadetta. Um... I'm glad I made him a Myrmidon. Because we're going to make her a soldier. So now we've got two soldiers, but we have no bow and arrow users. So it might come back to bite us. Hopefully it doesn't, though. Yeah. And finally... Petra, who we can... If we do this, it should allow her to switch between the things freely, right? Hmm. Well... Let's just have her hang on to what she's already got. And the game wants us to explore, so we will be exploring. Accept a quest from your house leader. Okay. What's Edelgard got for us? And she is most definitely this way. There we go. I guess it stays the same. The uh, zoom on the thing. Uh, we do see Raphael. We don't really have anything to say to him, though. People die in every battle. And it can be by sword or spear or magic, but... But depending on who it is that died, depending on who died, it's different. They'll say something different? What do you mean? I hope nothing bad happens this month. Uh... 
That's not ominous or anything. I'm still not 100% certain what the heck she means. We can give it to someone interested in tea. Edelgard would own. Oh, cool. We can give Edelgard a gift. Enemy's true target. What could it be? The monastery has been around for nearly a millennium. It's only logical that there are secrets here. We'd better investigate. I'm totally getting our Hogwarts on. Yes, please. Would you mind asking around and seeing what you can dig up? Once you've uncovered some leads, we'll regroup. Uh, we will be able to give her these white gloves we just found. Or not? Hmm. Okay. Okay, light, it's under this. How did you know this was mine? Thank you, my teacher. Cool. Uh, who often find themselves in fights. So we just have to chat around, right? Wait, did we not accept the request? Uh oh. Would you mind? Yeah. I have a favor to ask. If we only knew the enemy's true aim, we might have something to work with. Let's look around the monastery and see if we can learn new, uh, any new information. All right. Ask around and gather info. But from whom? Looks like we have to talk with. There's someone at the fishing pond. We could probably hang out with Manuela, but we do want to check on our crops. Okay, so that's one free fish. Lawrence. Oh, a random monk. All right, well, if that's who you have to talk to, that's who we have to talk to. All right, harvest. Hey, every little bit towards our professor level helps. Yeah. And what do you have to it say? It would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrick Mach's 995-year history. So many beautiful flowers. Plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. Okay. Investigation note number seven. All right. What's he doing? The goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the Church of Seros. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot merely with the intention to hinder the celebration? So it looks like the other houses have come to the same conclusion. Uh... It would seem that your reputation is on the rise. Even Lady Rhea has taken a liking to you. It's a shame I am not in your class. But I suppose I am content with my current arrangement. Dang. Okay, we need more charisma and reason. Soon, soon nobody is going to be able to say no to us. The Death Knight. That must be who that guy was. Hey, Professor, I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. Dude probably doesn't want to die. Hmm. We can get a lot out of this. How about... Yeah. I mean, we can do some horse riding XP, right? Should come in handy. It's this one, Z. Or it's just the R button, actually. So it looks like it's Gerald we want to hit up next, I think. No, Gerald is just hanging out. Annette. Okay, no, it's that guy. Well, what's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah, you don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Apparently not. Even so. The knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The goddess's rite of rebirth is an important event for the Church of Seros. They say it's the day when the goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. Yeah, we definitely do not want to be labeled as heathens or blasphemers or whatever. They don't take too kindly to that sort of thing. Go ahead and rank up here. 
Okay, authority level I still two. Have much to learn. Um, can we? We got new supports too. Wow, we have a lot of new supports. Definitely want to get through those. Uh, is it possible for us to? Okay, abilities. That's what I was looking for. Oh, they're all auto-equipped. Okay. Do we have anybody who doesn't have any auto-equipped abilities? HP plus 5. We can actually... Yeah. She doesn't even use her brawling... Like, she doesn't use any of these prowesses, actually. But that's basically it. Unless we... No, there's no... A reason? Yeah, we don't use our brawling prowess either, so... That's all we were after. Alright. Uh, something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares. Wine bottles from centuries past and the like. So Garrick Mock is just full of precious stuff. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. Okay. Yet another investigation note for us. Uh, does Ferdinand have something to say? Oh, we haven't been there. So let's fast travel to the entrance hall. And then we'll be able to swing around to the stables. It'd be nice if we could unlock riding classes. Hmm, Lady Rhea lifts the spirits of all the people of Bodlin. We cannot allow her to come to any harm. Uh, how about you join up with us? Hi, Professor. Did you need something? I've actually got plans, so let's talk some other time. Dang. We need Dex and flying. Okay. So Understandable. Uh. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. The goddess's rite of rebirth is this month, right? The monastery gates will be thrown wide open on that day. I'll be working as a guide. I hope I get to guide some lovely ladies around. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to prevent everybody from being attacked, but do what you gotta do, bro. Just, oh, we can walk right through the cats? Okay. So what are they up to? Hmm. Knights Hall and Stable. Interesting. So, first things first, what the heck is this? Okay, feels deeply repentant. Deeply repentant? Hmm, setting fire to the stables to distract everyone, to cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book, but I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable and the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. Um, sure. Please, do me a favor. I made a dreadful mistake and ended up with two of the same tea set. Now I must gift one of them to someone who can appreciate its value. Could you help me find someone deserving of such a precious gift? Sure. Tea for two. Hmm. Elegant tea set. So, who would enjoy this elegant tea set? Maybe... There's so many people. Uh, Edelgard probably would. Edelgard seems like the kind of person who'd enjoy tea, right? Hey there. Hmm. There's another person with another quest for us here. Sedith, what's up, dude? I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flame. Uh, did you encounter any danger? No. But do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. No doubt this dude is pre-promoted. Um, we can go for another round of faculty training. How about you make us a better flyer? Nice! Practice yields results. I've been in town procuring... So now we can go ahead and... Does he like tea? I have something to ask of you. A band of thieves has been raiding villages in the north of Fargus. Reports indicate they have made an old tower their stronghold. Do you have any idea where it might be? Gather information on the thieves' hideout. You may find information on each region collected in the Knight's Hall. Okay. 
So we have to go to the Knights Hall to get information about the thieves. Let's uh, go ahead and knock this one out right now. Because the Knights Hall is supposed to be... It's supposed to be here, right? So, okay. Dimitri probably likes tea. All this talk of assassination plots. It brings back dark memories I prefer to keep buried. Ah, it is nothing. I am sorry for allowing my mind to wander. My focus should be solely on guarding the monastery right now. Okay, so he knows somebody who got assassinated. All this talk of us. Ah. We can't give him the gift. What? Okay, so I guess he's not a good candidate. Tomas. I hear you have fought alongside Catherine. I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. Uh, she was pretty great. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. Hmm. So, where are we supposed to be finding this information? Thieves intel. Okay. Conan Tower. So, that's that then. Go ahead and let Seth know that we found it. He is... Standing right there, if we could select it. There we go. The reception hall is not specifically where he's at, but it's close-ish to it. Someone who likes tea. Best pest practices. A list of different pests to target plants during cultivation, complete with methods of, er methods of eradication for each. You wouldn't want to be a bug in this greenhouse, that's for sure. Hey, I'll take it. All right, Sedith, we got what you wanted, dude. Well done. You have my thanks. Conan Tower. Yes, I suppose that would make a sensible base for a group of thieves. I will use this information to investigate the matter further. You have my thanks. Nice. What's, uh, to someone who loves tea? We can't... We can't give that to him, huh? Someone who appreciates tea. Hmm. Sylvain and Hilda are probably not the best candidates. Uh, looks like we can't warp to those last few spots. Ooh, we will be doing more of that. In Bridget, assassinations are many. I have also been the targeted, back in the past. Wow, seems like the sort of thing that would give you PS uh, PTSD and ruin your ability to trust, but okay. I'm happy you survived. The Goddess Tower has an entrance of narrowness. That is most good. The windows are not the most good, though. A target of ease for snipers. She probably is not a good candidate. Dang, dude, we're sprinting like our friggin' lives depend on it. Artificial flower. Someone who wears flashy clothes. Lorenz would like that. I figured it out, Professor. The enemy must be targeting Lady Rhea. They're gonna make it seem like they're going after something else, but then they're gonna go for her. Do we really want to stop them, though? Impressive, right? I'm telling you, my intuition's never wrong. What's his quest? Hey, I got a favor to ask. Do you know about the fighting tournaments here at the monastery? I hear anyone can get involved. Oh, I know. You and I should sign up, Professor. Fighting tournaments are held in the monastery to test what the students learned in their daily training. Speak to the tournament organizer at the training grounds to learn more. Sure. So we've got to speak to... Tournament organizer at the training grounds. Okay, which is up here. Uh... Well, we're so close to this other person. We don't want to have to come all the way back here. You don't have business here yet? Wow. We probably can... If someone dies, that's where we can probably visit them or something. Do you know what this room is? It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. So we definitely do want to get in there, then. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. 
The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. Okay. So we're still good there, then. Next, we're gonna hit up... It looks like Yuritsa is here? Yuritsa is here? He's probably not the person who's gonna be... Yeah, see? Ooh. Oh, even more? Ooh. Noxious Handkerchief, who is callous in their methods. There's lots of stuff here. Enthusiastic about training. A graduate? So, one of the instructors, then. You're skilled. Why won't you battle me? Hmm. Okay. You don't have enough activity points. Oh, crap. Lord Lenato's rebellion may have been quelled, but the unrest in Fargus isn't dying down anytime soon. The Boar Prince should hurry up and claim the throne, rather than letting old customs hold him back. Hmm. Does he like tea? Enthusiastic about training. I know nothing about it. Ask someone else. Oh, okay. Uh. I know nothing about. Dang. So he doesn't like any of those, and we can't actually do that request. Hmm. Maybe Lady Rhea would like it. She seems like a tea drinker. Fishing. Okay, so it's probably her then. No? It's someone in the other corner. Gardening. Can we run in here? We can. Ugh, that seems like the type of thing you absolutely shouldn't do. There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. Okay, so what would be inappropriate, though? Stuff that questions the goddess's teachings? Stuff that questions the existence of the goddess, maybe? In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? Okay, so that's the next investigation note. Hmm. <sighs> You'd best keep your distance. In this nervous state, I might just cut you down. Wow. I dare you to try. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm only kidding. Uh, we will give her... Huh. Not mine. Don't know whose it is. Crap. Does she like... Oh, let's give her the... Oh, this is mine. Thanks. I'm glad to have it back. Cool. That one was pretty easy to figure out. We can't give her the elegant tea set either. Hmm. Someone who appreciates tea. Well. Wait. There should be like a glowing yellow spot, right? So once we've gotten well, once we've gotten all the other glowing spots taken care of, it'll basically just be the one remaining. Unbelievable. A terrifying story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. She probably is pretty high level. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. So that's investigation note one. Hmm. What about... Looks like we have to go to the outskirts of the cathedral and then swoop around. Can't just immediately head there, which I guess is fine. Aloise probably is not the person we're looking for, though. Yes, open for us. What? Hmm. This is... Okay, I'm looking at it like, how the heck do we get around? What is... That's a bulletin board should be. Yeah. Ooh. And that guy has got a wyvern, looks like. Okay. Nope. Okay. Just gotta be very careful about the buttons we're hitting. Impossible. I have a thought. The goddess tower. Have you visited the goddess tower? It's a sacred place used for rituals and the like. 
Are we allowed to go there right now? In general, students aren't allowed entry. So we should be able to. But as you'd expect, that rule just excites their curiosity. <laughs> Some have even tried sneaking in. Well, at least for this month, that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable. We have a lot more security. What with the goddess's right of rebirth coming up. Okay. Uh, does he appreciate tea? No. Uh. I appreciate this. Okay, cool. We've got so many things. Hello there. No. It doesn't look like that's a place that can be entered at all, basically. And then we've got one more. Okay, we gotta go into the cathedral and then to the back? Hmm. Yeah, Ash. We don't really have anything we can give to Ash, though. Here's an idea. Likes telling jokes. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers eternally. The Holy Mausoleum... Like her actual body? That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic to protect against would-be grave robbers. Okay, so... That's basically it. Who the heck can we give this friggin' tea set to? Hmm. We need a glowing yellow spot that'll tell us... Well, that's where Edelgard is at. Is there no one? Yeah. Doesn't look like there's any one person in particular. We just have to know. And I am not certain. Not certain at all. Okay, well, before we turn this into Edelgard, we're going to hit up those supports. Let's do... Oh, she's got supports with a whole bunch of people. Bernadetta, why are you following me? You were following me quite conspicuously, so why attempt to hide now? Bernadetta is an odd duck. I... um... Um... <laughs> Please don't hurt me! What? <laughs> Calm yourself. I have no reason to harm you. Forgive me. I beg you. I'll go straight back to my room and you'll never see me again. I swear. She still hasn't answered the question of why she was following Edelgard in the first place. Bernadetta. Yes, Lady Edelgard. Please explain why you were following me and why you tried to hide. Is Her Highness saying she will not condemn me? <laughs> she will not answer that question for anything. Please, speak like the human that you are. I already said no harm will come to you. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Um, permit me to explain. Lady Edelgard, you are fearless. I look up to you as an example to follow. And that explains it. How? Literally following her? I decided to watch you from a distance, to learn from you. But your presence is, um, intimidating. I got more and more scared until I finally couldn't help but try to hide. <sighs> Forgive me, I throw myself upon your mercy. Honestly, look, nobody is truly fearless. Even I have things that I'm afraid of. What? You do? I mean, she's gonna be emperor one day. You seem oddly overjoyed at the thought. No, of course not. But, um, what in the world could possibly frighten you? The sea. I find the pitch black of the open sea at night quite frightening. Huh. Pretty, pretty rational, pretty valid. I can't swim, so if the sea were to wash me away, I fear I would never return. The sea? I think I may have seen it once. Maybe. I didn't know you couldn't swim. That's a surprise. I was really dreading that she would say ghosts or something, but no, that is an actual legit fear. Again, my shortcomings delight you. Everyone has fears as well as things they can't do. How many times must I tell you? <sighs> I really did make you angry. Okay, well, looks like Edelgard humanized herself a little bit in Bernadetta's eyes. Now we've got 
It looks like it's just her and... Yep. Ferdinand. Well, let's start with Linhart, though. Hello there, Edelgard. Are you looking for something? You could say that. I'm looking for someone named Linhart who's been skipping lectures again. What? Oh, this dude's not taking his education seriously. I see. Well, congratulations, you found him. Did you want him for something in particular? Wow, talking to her any kind of way. What else could bring me here other than your complete negligence? Well, perhaps you're interested in hearing my latest theories on the nature of crests. I suspect the formation of crests may be quite different than that recorded in church tradition. Uh-oh, Linhart's getting up to his old blasphemy again. Before you go on, is there any discernible benefit to me allowing this babble to continue? I say his old blasphemy and again, but this is our first time actually hearing him say that stuff, so. Well, of course. And that would be? I suspect you'll find the topic rather entertaining. That's it. What more do you need? Crest research is its own reward. You know, if you ever truly applied yourself, you could become a distinguished scholar. You could use your Crest knowledge to benefit the world or uncover new discoveries in magic theory. Why would I busy myself with such tedious work? He could just become Hanuman's apprentice. I perform this research for my own knowledge. I'm not interested in the world at large. There's nothing wrong with a selfish drive for knowledge, but only if you put it to good use. I'm sure there must be some use. Yeah, Crest knowledge? I could definitely think of quite a few. Oh, then please, tell me what potential uses you have in mind. Well, there are people out there who spend good money on bizarre artistic creations, so I'm sure my not at all useful research could be used as a fine lullaby for the children of the world. I was thinking more along the lines of simply understanding how Crest research works. A lullaby? <sighs> I have things to do. Just know that this was my last warning. Before she starts grabbing you by your hair loopy thing and then dragging you to lectures. Sure, of course. Goodbye. This guy. And finally, looks like it's just Edelgard and Ferdinand. Oh, she's got one with Lestelle too. Managed to miss that. You came at just the right time, Edelgard. Is that so? Yes, I have a story for you. It's about a pair of nobles living about a hundred years after the founding of the Adrestian Empire. One was Derek Von Eyre. People called him the warrior prime minister. He bravely led soldiers into battle and mowed down his enemies. The other one's probably going to be a Von Hresveld. The other? Was the emperor of the time. She wagered the throne in a duel against Derek and won. Why don't we do what our ancestors did and have a little duel ourselves? Wow, she's got this dude downloaded. That's what you were going to say. But the answer is no. You interrupted me. Because she already knew what you were going to say. The warrior prime minister used a dramatic line to propose the duel. And you did not allow me to say it. My apologies, Ferdinand. Well, at any rate, you were correct in surmising that I was about to challenge you. But you were rather blunt in your refusal. Because it's a dumb idea. <laughs> Ferdinand, control yourself. When will you tire of challenging me in pointless competitions? I can quit now if you insist on it. I will not challenge you again. Oh, really now? You expect me to believe that? Why do you look so surprised? Of course it is not a valid duel unless both parties are willing. Now that you have refused outright, I must come up with some other way of getting that which I seek. I'm afraid to ask what you could possibly mean by that. The throne. Only that I will find some other way of showing everyone that I am superior to you. Huh. I will write a handbill listing your accomplishments alongside my own more impressive accomplishments. You do that. Copyists will produce thousands of these pamphlets and distribute them far and wide. Then everyone will know about my... Okay. This has to stop. <sighs> Perhaps I should have ended things with a duel after all. He's definitely got some perseverance with that, but... Okay. Last but not least, Edelgard. Wait. What? What the heck? Hmm. Oh, the little arrows on top. I see. What's with the blue thing, though? Hmm. So he's got one with Linhart and Bernadetta. 
Just look at this place. It's so beautiful, I believe I should take a nap and enjoy it properly. Linhart. Lost in thought, I see. Unacceptable. Dude, if Edelgard couldn't get this guy to shape up, you certainly won't be able to. But he'd probably take that as a challenge, so. Are you not aware that a noble's duty is to be ever vigilant? Rest increases alertness. Is there something I can do for you, Ferdinand? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I could give you a little advice. You always seem to be napping. Why not spend your free time doing something productive? He does crest research sometimes. Easier said than done, Ferdinand. I'm afraid I suffer from a constitution that tires easily. Hmm. Some training will remedy that. Let us work on that today. I will train you myself. Arise, Linhart. The righteous path of the noble lies before you. You're always giving it your all, aren't you? He's got to in his <laughs> fruitless quest to prove he's better than Edelgard. Yes, I am. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. In fact, I rather enjoy your demeanor. You go all out even when others wish you wouldn't. You work hard, inspire the admiration of others, and your dignity as a noble is beyond reproach. I consider it my mission to serve as a guide and a model for other members of the nobility. As capable as you are striking, next to you, I am a mere infant. He's... <laughs> I think Linhart is playing him, dude. Oh, you are far too kind. Although I do work hard each day to achieve all of which you speak. You've mastered all the important noble skills. You drink tea, talk about how great you are, ride horses. Oh, yeah. Indeed. I went for a ride earlier today. Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. Hmm? Where are you going? He's escaping this conversation. Oh, I must get some sleep, being the infant that I am. Farewell for now, Ferdinand. Oh, noble among nobles. Noble among nobles? Seems a bit much. Did he say get some sleep? Hey, wait! Yeah, dude, you got completely played. Oh, well. And... Who's Hubert got to support with? Dorothea and Petra. <sighs> completely unreasonable. How will I see to this? Hubie, what are you doing here? Hubie? Okay. A routine matter. No cause for concern. Ah, so it's something to do with Aidy then. And? She really is all you ever think about, isn't she? Look, I know you're doing all this so that she'll like you, but if you go too far, she'll end up pushing you away. Maybe even hate you. Dang, straight for the jugular. This has nothing to do with swaying Lady Edelgard's sentiments. I am simply her humble servant. I do what is in her best interest. Whether she cares for me or not is irrelevant. It really doesn't look that way to me. I bet you'd follow any order Aidy gave if you thought it would make her like you. Am I right? Any order? <laughs> what a thing to suggest. Is she wrong, though? But the answer is no. I will decline any directive that I deem would not be beneficial to her. Is that right? So, just for example, if Aidy commanded you to find yourself a suitable wife, would you do it? She is always trying to game somebody into marrying her. If it would benefit her in some way for me to marry, then yes, I would marry. What a way to live your life, dude. Mm, it's easy to say that now, with no bridal party in sight. But if it was the day of the wedding? Nah, I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. Yeah, because you're not Edelgard. My only wish is to see Lady Edelgard fulfill her ambitions. All other matters pale in comparison. Hubie, pale in comparison? You've seen too many operas. I don't think you understand how the world works. At all. And I don't care what you think, either. I would make any sacrifice to support Lady Edelgard. It's a shame you've never experienced such devotion. You're right. I don't have anyone like that right now. But maybe someday I will. <laughs> She's like, it could be you. Could be Edelgard. Could be Lestelle. Could be any random soldier. Then maybe someday you'll understand. Until then, we will never see eye to eye. Now, if you will excuse me, I have much to do. Hubie, I don't get you. 
Although I do find your point of view just fascinating. Hmm. He's like, if it would benefit Lady Abelgard, I would get married. Played you now. See what's up with these guys. Another fine day, alone in my room, and plenty of books to read. Bernadetta, I have something to discuss with you. Here to rain all over your parade. Uh, what? I didn't do anything. No need to be defensive. I am not angry. Oh, you definitely are. I can tell. Just get it over with. What did I do? You did not do anything wrong. Please, listen. Look, just breathe, will you? Yeah. Wow. There's jumping to conclusions and then there's asfi uh, asphyxiating yourself because you've assumed somebody's mad at you. I see that you are struggling. Please calm down. <sighs> Easy for you to say. Yeah. I just wanted to discuss how you are always hiding in your room. It seems like something must be troubling you for you to shut yourself away like that. If something is the matter, maybe I can help. But you need to tell me what it is first. Ah, uh, that's just her personality, isn't it? No, uh, no thanks. I'm fine. See, I'm breathing out. You fixed me. Can I go? Crap. Do you not realize that life is passing you by? Have you no desire to venture beyond this reclusive lifestyle? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. The social life of a noble is actually rather... Uh, she is a noble, isn't she? Just stop it. I'm not interested. Bernadetta, this is unhealthy behavior. I beg you to take my hand. Otherwise, I will have to pick you up and carry you, and neither of us will... What if I actually like being alone? Is that so hard to imagine? It's none of your business. Get lost! Wow. She's certainly grown a spine. Sprain my wrist. Kinda serves you right though. Oh no, 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 no. Now you've done it, Bernie. Now you're his eternal rival. I think okay. Might be in a little dramatic right there. I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I No! I'm done for! You'll be the death of me for sure! Maybe I should just come back later. Probably a good idea. Well, alright. And Hubert's got one with Petra as well. What the heck could they possibly have to talk about? Petra? Industrious as ever, I see. Hello, Hubert. Yes, I am trying to be industrious. I must be working hard to improve my position. Right now, it is not a good one. In Bridget or at the monastery? Even accounting for that, your efforts are impressive. I wish a little of you would rub off on certain people here. One troublesome slouch in particular. Oh, Linhart. Rub? I will not be rubbing on anyone. <laughs> not literally. I never would have imagined he would adjust so well to life in Fodlan. When I first met you, you couldn't understand a single word of the language. You had the look of a cornered animal. So much so, I thought you'd grown up in the wild. I had more youth then, and the experience was terrifying. So she came when she was much younger. My grandfather ordered me to go to Fodlin with suddenness. I was stolen to a strange land filled with strange people. The treatment I was receiving was like... like I was a strange beast. It is unfortunate, but while you were called our guest, you were actually a hostage. So has that situation changed at all? You were meant to be insurance that Brigid would not restore its alliance with Dagda and attack us. The Empire required leverage. And after all, you are the princess of Brigid. It gave me sadness to leave my home. But I am not unhappy that I came to the Empire. But is that still her situation, though? I have learned much understanding from the outside world. My experience has made me become who I am. And meeting you and Lady Edelgard has had great value for me. I admire your spirit in the face of adversity. You set a strong example to follow. So I feel like that's still her circumstance. <laughs> and there is much more adversity to come. Ha! Huh. 
You know, when he says it, it sounds really friggin' ominous. Looks like lastly, we've got Caspar and Dorothea. Oh, Caspar, just who I was hoping to see. I have a tiny little request if you have time to help me. I'm always happy to help. What can I do for you? That is exactly what I was hoping to hear. Would you mind coming along to my room? Your room? Uh, okay. Dude, you're probably about to get roped into cleaning it or something. This uh, isn't what I uh, had in mind. Figured. Figured, figured, figured. Come on. A big, strong guy like you? This is easy. Lift up the cabinet, please. I need to dust behind it. There's still more to do. Why do you care so much about keeping this place clean? It's just a dorm room. Were you raised in a stable? Leaving this place a mess wouldn't be fair to the next person who uses it. But you don't, like... <laughs> I mean, she's right, but... In fact, I think once we're done with this room, we should clean up your room as well. See? You shouldn't have even said anything, Caspar. Yeah, I don't think so. I have some actual training to do. Oh, come to think of it, I have a date myself. The fella I'm seeing has quite a charming face, rich family, and I assume a tolerable personality. Mm, no, Dorothea. Don't you get tired of spending time with all these guys who have tolerable personalities? Oh, it gets tedious at times. You must listen to them talk, for one thing. But it's important for my future. That's how I see my training. I guess it's pretty much the same thing. I don't know if that's a comparison you really want to make. Dude, she is grinding for that future husband. Why not? Seems about right to me. Sure, I'm a noble, but I'm also a second son. I don't have anything coming to me. Why do you think I'm always training so much? I need to prove myself on the battlefield if I plan on making it anywhere in this world. I know you don't have noble status or wealth, so you're putting in the effort to marry well, right? See? Pretty much the same thing. Hey, can't argue with that logic. I suppose. It would be nice if everyone saw it that way. Well then, Caspar, I need to get ready for my date. But shall we both agree to work hard for our futures? Absolutely. I just hope our efforts are worth it. Hmm. That was actually a really pleasant support. But that is also our very final support. We can't... I don't know who we're supposed to be giving this tea set to. Stop thinking about Lenato. He is super dead, dude. Just put it out of your mind. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Uh, there's nothing to be done. <sighs> Thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. Maybe he wants it? Nope. Oh well. We'll just have to let that one expire or whatever. Alright, Edelgard, we got exactly what you asked for, dude. Everything is all set. Basically, anyways. In we go. Perhaps I knew I could count on you. We've narrowed down some of the enemy's potential objectives, but we'll only know if we're right when the day is upon us. Cool. There's a place that the church values above all others. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make it much easier than usual to access. The Holy Mausoleum. Precisely. We can't know for certain, but it's a distinct possibility that the Holy Mausoleum is our enemy's target. Uh... We can't give her the ancient... What the heck? Appreciated by everyone. Hmm. Traveling art or coins. Oh, well. Yeah. No clue who we we're supposed to give that to, so we're not even going to worry about it. Um... What do we want... We actually need to get her to start it on swords. Yeah. She's only got an E+. Plus. So we're going to change... Yeah, change everybody's goals. Hmm. We don't... Well, first axes and then swords. So we're good there. Uh, Hubert's... 
What do we want him to... Hmm. I think we do want him to get all myrmidoned out. Yeah. So instead of lances, we'll do swords and reason. Ferdinand, I think he's fine the way he is. You're fine. Caspar, uh, she's not. Whoa, sniping out of sight. Huh. Nah. Lance and bow. We probably do want to go ahead and give her. Let's put her back on the lance and bow. Dorothea. She would probably make a pretty okay Myrmidon, right? Now, let's give her lances. Okay, so first, reason. And then, lance. Petra is fine the way she is. And he's also fine the... Oh, you know what? No. Man of the people. We'll give him swords. And also have him keep reason. All right, I'm actually liking that. Hmm. Raises heavy armor, riding, flying. Um, we can keep them the way they are. So let's get to instructing. Edelgard. Brawling. Not super interested in that. All right. Dude, she almost made it. Hmm. He is working on lances, but we can actually advance him. There we go. Banshee. Banshee Omega? Perhaps I've been well. Yeah, you have been well taught. Flattery will get you nowhere. Are you sure about that? Uh-huh. I guess we can also do... Authority. Linhard and Sylvain, they're the only other people we can actually teach, so. Nice. Cutting Gale. Not a total waste. Yeah, that went really nicely for you. Hmm. Only need one of those. Reason level two. It's all become uh, we could do bows. Okay. And that's everybody all instructed out. So let's begin lecture. May I ask you something? Hmm. When one professor lectures many students, some will inevitably have trouble keeping up while others will get too far ahead in their studies. I wonder how this problem might be solved. Um... Perhaps lectures should be optional, a magical solution. Let's recruit more professors. Is that so? Okay. Professor. I want to blast through battle, cutting my enemies down left and right. And the best way to do that is with an axe. Help me train my axe skills so I can be a great warrior. Uh, no. Wish he'd asked us a question, but it's all good. Uh, Saint Sethleen Day. Uh, sure, why not? Always want to celebrate Saint Sithleen. Okay, so a picked burn. Won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> Must I? Fine, but I will sing it solemnly. Okay, cool. So we celebrated Saint Sithleen Day. It's Flane's birthday, and yes, we will be getting her stuff. Man, Edelgard. I think we can do it. With the two of us, there is nothing to worry about. Totally skipped her birthday. Still salty about that. Look, Professor, we did great. A perfect. I'm getting closer. Wrath strike. So she's better with a sword now. Hmm. Um, we probably want fighting tournaments begin this month. 
We do actually want to enroll in a fighting tournament, but we want a seminar too. Ooh, Shamir. Sure. Dude, we have to recruit her. So ready for her to become part of the team. We'll master this. I'm a quick study. Okay, so we got them both up. Uh, yeah, we'll be instructing manually once more, even though we don't have very many people. Yeah, barely any motivation. Uh. Okay, not high enough to instruct. We can do authority. It's pretty close on that. What do we got for Dorothea? Let's do... Yeah, swords. And finally, we'll do Bernadetta. Uh... She's pretty close to... Oh, uh, well, she's pretty close on bows. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it seems kind of random, but... There we go. Faith. I'd never have learned this back in my room. She didn't learn any new skills, though. Which kind of always sucks, but... Raises heavy armor skills. Let's raise the flying skill of... Petra and Edelgard. Professor. People are calling me a thief, but I would never be doing bad things. It is because I am moving very quickly without my enemies noticing. This is why I must be learning the bow and sword. Huh. Uh no. Sorry, dude. We've already got a plan uh, set for you. Um Sure. Thank you, Lady Bernadetta. I will take my leave. Oh, good. Uh, bye! Uh, goodbye! Finally. Oh, that was awful. Just terrifying. Was she officially receiving somebody in her noble capacity, or what? Uh, what's terrifying? me to show her around. I tried to be polite, but strangers are just so nerve-wracking. You're never scared of me. Oh, yeah? How about when I first met you and I wouldn't come out of the corner or even uncover my face? That did happen. Actually, now that you mention it, it's funny. Once I started talking to you, I stopped feeling scared. I wonder why. You know, Professor, you might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here. And I have no idea why. Uh, I'm glad regardless. I'm happy about it, too. When we first started out here, we had to do drills. Outside. I skipped those every chance I got. Doesn't seem like a good way to stay alive on the battlefield if you're skipping lessons, but okay. It's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't even know. Thanks to you, though, I can actually make it through class now. I'm grateful for that. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. That's all right. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. By the way, was that you singing in the greenhouse? What? You, you saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me? Uh... That crosses the line, Professor. Singing? Me? Why would I be singing? I'd never be singing! Ah, I've never been so humiliated! Useless, worthless, unmanageable! Ah! Dang. Talk about overreacting! Oh well, she'll get over it. Cool. Is there something going on today? I will not be a burden. I will be doing my best for Lady Edelgard. Don't worry, Petra. It is Okay. We still can't Perhaps actually get anyone in a Edelgard. We did not worry not, Petra. Oh. Only got a good 
Perhaps I've been well taught. I'd never have learned this back. It's all becoming clearer. Hmm. Well, I guess it could have gone way worse. Next up, I do believe we want a battle. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and explore. Yeah. I am curious about these. Yeah. Okay, give the tea set to someone who loves tea. So they haven't expired yet. Let's go ahead and have Kaspar help us out. Level 6 or higher. Okay. Binding turners begin this month. The current one will focus on sword skills. Rely on allies who are proficient with swords. So I guess we will not be using him. Uh, let's do Petra. Oh, okay. This is the arena. Uh, she should be good to go. Whew. Come on. Oh, let him have it. Uh, X restore 20 HP. Five. 7, 14, 21, 7, I'm trying to do the math really quickly, uh, <laughs> okay, we hit him once, he goes down to 14, he hits us, we go down to 13, we hit him, he goes down to 7, he hits us, we go down to 8, we should win, and that is totally a woman. Can we? Because we can recover. Like, we can recover 20 HP. Hmm. Quarterfinals. Uh, yeah. You have two HP recoveries remaining. Nice. Yeah, let's light him up. Petra's gonna carry us to victory, dude. Crap. I'm only doing one additional point of damage against this guy. Looks like we are going to have to use our last HP recovery. We don't have enough. Witness Bridget Pride. Yeah, I don't have enough for anything else. Okay, semifinals. Whoa. Uh yeah, we gotta get out of here, dude. Okay. Yeah. That's too much. It's too much. I ask you. you know how fighting tournaments work, right? One on one fights, one after another. Each month there are different tournaments. I can't wait. Yeah, picking him would have been a bad move. 